We didn't start the fire. That is what you need to know. You didn't start this fight. You didn't wake up one day and say, I'm going to short, short a company into oblivion. You woke up one day and for many reasons. It could be greed. It could be for a better world. It could be for any number of reasons. Here we are, though. You didn't start the fire. Don't let anyone tell you that this is your problem when it comes to the markets. When they say that, and all you're asking for is a fair, transparent market, they let you know where they stand. You didn't start the fire. You earned the kindling. You want the oak. It will burn hot and long. Now, maybe I had a few too many wobbly pops. Maybe my sense of right and wrong gets the best of me. But I'm not alone. Even in your silence, I know you're there. Stay strong. The AMC community, the retail investors that are in this play, we didn't ask to get into this play. We did not ask for these hedge funds to short companies into oblivion to profit off of their demise. All we saw was an opportunity with an insane amount of upside potential, and that's what initially got us into this play all along. Are any stocks that were heavily shorted by big institutions, with the intent of driving the price to zero, and ultimately the businesses in the bankruptcy? Retail caught on and bought and held the stock, saving the companies and allowing them to obtain capital through share offerings, etc. In the past, the Elgos were always able to create volatility and the MSM was always able to scare retail into selling risky assets. This time though, retail understands what they have done and will not sell and continue to buy until the price is corrected, fixed, and shorts close out. The term meme stocks is meant to be derogatory phase, but in reality institutions are using predatory short selling are the ones who will ultimately lose. The emperor has no close. The mainstream media is not going to cover these truths, AMC not leaving AMC. So this is in regards to AMC as a company and in regards to the recession that's looming. If you guys haven't been paying attention to the market or the economy, there's likely going to be a recession ahead. But obviously it's a good question to ask yourself. How will AMC do in a recession? How will my shares hold up? How will the company hold up, etc., etc.? We just went through a complete lockdown of the country and the world for multiple years. So we know that AMC can make it through anything, but still, generally, when economic downturns hit, we have seen an increase in box office attendance in the six of the last eight recessions. People seek relief in forgetting their problems, so they go to the movies, and it is the least expensive form of entertainment. Guys, even right now, we're seeing a lot of different areas in the economy slow down drastically. We're seeing numbers from many of the biggest companies in the world take major hits. But just recently, over the last few weeks, we're seeing the box office numbers come in higher than we've ever seen before. Adam Aaron just confirmed that they're seeing 40% larger purchasing in the concessions than pre-lockdown. Guys, so far, AMC is fighting through this economic downturn very, very well. And it looks like it has a chance to skate right through this entire downturn with record-setting numbers.